Only two of our cars have liveries. Uh, you know, we actually, we did get the department up and running pretty well. Like, we got that soundproofed and stuff, which was great. Mm -hmm. Um, but, I mean, you know what the main issues with the PD right now is people don't want to go on duty because we get bullied. Yeah. Um, and we're not oblivious to why that is. I mean, getting fucking ran by six interference cars over a joyriding is insane. No one wants to deal with that. Uh, but on top of not wanting to deal with that, you don't have the tools to even deal with it when you're forced to. Um, Air One is still dog shit. Our motorcycles dog shit. Our cars are fine, but not for hyper cars. We don't have interceptors. Right. Um, it, I mean, Air One is practically useless for anything that is mobile. Yeah, if, other than if, a shootout. Basically. Unless it's yeah, if it's not stationary where you're just getting overhead, it's a it's literally a useless tool. Uh, you can't chase anything. Right. Um, if motor is still the worst motorcycle in the whole city, by far. Uh, our cars are are they're not bad. Uh, don't get me wrong, they're they're good cars, but they don't stack up to hyper cars. I mean, and the majority of people have a car now that is better than ours. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, what are, what are these fucking, like, we catch people robbing these establishments, like, they're leaving fucking money on the ground, like, in the Maze Bank. Like, how much money are they getting that they have to leave this shit on the ground? These people are rich. I mean, Flippy fucking told me that he bought the gauntlet for a war because he doesn't a care if flex. it gets bad. Yep, yep, yep. Like, what the, like, that. that's crazy. <laughs> like, that shit is crazy. And that $100,000 gauntlet that he's buying just as a throwaway car is better than anything we have. And that's the problem. Uh, yeah, and I, so I'm I, sure you're well aware of that. Uh, when it comes to policy changes, you know, we can do what we, we want to a degree. Um, you know, we still got to do anything fucking stupid and crazy. Uh, but you would be able to, I think, you know, if you wanted to redo the whole FTO program, if you wanted to redo PNT, if you wanted to wipe everybody from every fucking rank that they have, I you would have no problem doing it. Don't, I don't feel. Like there would be no pushback. You're allowed to do that. You would have no pushback. Besides for maybe like people in the department. Well, I mean, in an ideal world, if this ended up happening, one thing that I would want to do was work with you and Bones more closely than has been happening. Because I think that's counterproductive to everybody. The lack of communication that I've seen where I'm like begging people to reach out to people. Yeah, I mean, that's an easy fix. Too. Right. And I don't think like... I think one thing that's been good, at least in the past, is you and I and even Bones, like we can have a conversation where we disagree with each other and it doesn't blow up into a fucking big deal because we can just say we disagree and then move on to the next it's thing, fine. right? I mean, like, only I can agree on everything. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so that got dropped in my lap yesterday. Uh, then I woke up today and I reached out to Angel because I wanted to talk to her about a couple things because I met with her on Saturday about like all these new legislative changes and, and things like that. And are you aware, like I'm assuming you and Bones both know about this new DOJ PD wing that's about to be formed? I am a little bit, I'm sure Bones knows more than my, me. I am slightly informed. I just know that it's going to be a thing. Yeah, so basically it's from... Yeah, this is me plugging in my phone. The way it was described to me was it's going to be a state police entity, but it's going to be like the National Guard, the CIA, and the NSA wrapped up into one. I uh, think that's so another... I, well, so I went and spoke to Angel today about, like, just wanted to pick her brain because back in the day she ran for chief of police and uh, I just wanted to talk about a few things and then she, without fully saying it, she basically said oh, that yeah. I also have a standing offer to join that if I want. Uh, I, I mean, if... And I'm, I'm going to shoot it straight with you again. That shit sounds like a fucking nightmare. I would not be a part of that personally. I wouldn't even fucking entertain it myself. Uh, doesn't sound like anything that I am interested in whatsoever. 
Right. Um, me personally, like I said, the one thing I'm worried about is building a department, not being some fucking almighty state entity fucking cool guy. I don't care. Um, I just don't, I, what's the, like, what it, or why? Like, what are they going to do? They have governmental oversight in case people in elected positions go off the rails. It sounds like you'd be busy helping deal with that once every three months. Yeah, apparently it would also be oversight of the PD. Yeah, but that's, yeah, so is, I mean, so is the chief of police. Right. No, no, I'm not disagreeing with you. By the way, no, no, I'm, I'm just, not saying you I'm, aren't. I'm talking these things out with you because I value your opinion. That's yeah, why. I don't, I, that sounds like the chief of police to me. It sounds like you can just, if you're in that position in the PD anyway, you can already hold people accountable. You can already fire them. It sounds like this department is specifically to watch the chief of police because it's the only time it's going to be fucking necessary. Uh, unless they're expecting us to go through them anytime somebody does anything wrong rather than us handle it internally. Yeah. Uh, the way that she described it also said, like, it's more of a drawn back thing unless shit starts kicking off, you know what I mean? I mean, if that's what you, if that's something that interests you, sure. I mean, it doesn't interest me at all. Like, I want to be out there on patrol getting shit done, not... Right. You know, which I don't think I would be afforded the opportunity to do if that was. But yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just tell you straight up what she said at the end. She basically said I should go for chief of police, and then if I find out that it's not for me, she would just hire me immediately after. Well, then do that. Or just join the BCSL. I mean, do, do you want me to be perfectly honest? Yeah. If I wasn't worried about the fact of who would be chief and what would happen immediately after this restructure, I would literally ask for a transfer to deputy right now. Because I'm not going to lie. Uh, at no point have I wanted anything other really than to join you in Bones and just enjoy my police work. Uh... But I don't know how you feel about this, but I feel like I sort of owe it to myself and to the people who are bending over backwards right now in the PD to at least try. Yeah. I mean, you know me, bro. I want you in the BCSO. wanted you to help lead shift one. Uh, but I think without a doubt... Um, I think without a doubt that you'd be a good choice for chief. And I think you could do good things. Um, I also think, I mean, I think you also need to keep in mind that it sounded from Angel, at least unless she misspoke, that uh, the mayor is picking the high command. So right. You wouldn't even have, you wouldn't need, I mean, depending on, you know, unless he gave you the option. Um, like he might pick somebody to be your, un, your, assistant chief of police that you don't want then i would say honestly i might just say i want to pick who my ass chief is otherwise no thanks i think you should probably do that i think i'm gonna because what's the point at that point i i agree completely hold on sorry peters is calling me